Hello, hello, hello. Hey, everybody. Excuse the noise, hubby's mowing. And um, I was painting earlier, and I decided to come on and do a little painting tonight. And I remember a candy corn a friend took us through in a paint class. I think it was last, last fall, probably. And uh, she was really good. Excuse my face, my allergies have taken over. But I'm coming on anyways, you're not gonna look at me very long, so it's okay. And it's, like I said, five million degrees in here because we took out the air conditioning and it's 85 degrees today in New York. Who knew? Anyways, thank you for stopping by my page. Um, Stacy Whiteman from Shabby Creative Whimsy. And uh, come paint with me. Let's do something fun and easy and whimsical. Uh, get you right into it. I'll be up here. There you go. Pretty good. Hopefully you can see. Again, my phone darkens things, so I can't always tell if you can see good until I see the replay. So, a little candy corn fun tonight. As always, we're going to start with a background. Um, the candy corn is going to be white and yellow and orange. So, I want to do a background that will kind of go with Halloween and this time of year. So, I'm going with uh, purple and white. My whole craft room is a mess because I've been working on, well, way too many things today. I'm trying to clean the house. We're going to have company in a couple of weeks. Right? Do you guys start a couple of weeks early? Just me? Right now. And uh, <laughs> it's a little stressful, so when I get stressed, I come back and do some random painting. Some random crafting, some random whatever it may be. So... I have vacuumed all the floors, mopped all the floors, washed some windows, cleaned the tubs and the bathrooms, you know, all the things. And I'm going to have to do it again <laughs> before they come because it's way too early, but that's how my brain works. So when I get a little overwhelmed with things, paint is always a good therapy for me. And so I decided to stop and take a minute while hubby was mowing. I've got uh, chicken wings thawing for dinner, but while he's outside doing his thing, making the yard all beautiful, um, I thought I would take a minute and throw down some paint and bring you guys along if you wanted to have an idea. You guys could do this on, well... You could do it on just a little piece of paper and put it in a picture frame. You could do it on a tiny little canvas. You could do it on a big canvas if you really love candy corn, I suppose. So, to throw it on my background, I'm just doing purple and white with a palette knife just to give me a nice blended background. I'm going to scrape a lot of this off. So I want it to dry pretty quick for tonight. See, that's the thing, you guys. And we're always trying to dry pretty quick when I'm doing lives with you guys. If I was doing a canvas, I would definitely take a little more time. But for the purpose of Facebook Live, let me just do it quick and easy. Oh, Christy is watching. Hi, Christy. I'm going to do a candy corn. It's it's similar to the one that um, Sonia that we follow did last year. Last last fall, I believe it was. She was really cute. And I'm in the mood for something whimsical and sweet. It's fun and easy. So, I just got paint all over my... <laughs> all over my hands. So much for... Not making a mess. That's how that's going today. I am using acrylic paints tonight, but I did get out my chalk paint, my sunshine yellow from Junk Monkey, because I just cannot take 
the yellow acrylic that I have. It is so thin, you guys. It, it's it's ridiculous, crazy. I can't. I cannot. So I would like to move on to the next spot. And I know you guys hate listening to the blow dryer. Well, at least I hate listening to the blow dryer. And this is my junk journal. So I'm going to go ahead with a paper towel and dry her down enough for me to move on <laughs> to my next step. If you're doing this on a canvas or on something you're going to hang, something you're going to display, You may or may not want to do this, but quite honestly, it works pretty good. All right, so we'll do some chalking for you guys. Um, I'm going to use the green. I'm, if you've watched me before, you know I've used that pink, and I cannot, cannot get it out. So candy corn is a triangle. We're going to make her a little soft and a little squat because that's my um, interpretation. You do it however you do you. And then we're going to put three lines. I'm going to do white, yellow, and orange. And I'm doing them a little bit wiggly. <laughs> if that is not the color situation, uh, feel free to comment and let me know what the color situation should be but here we go so let's start with just a little bit of white you guys this is so easy and you can just do it on a little a little something to make a little shelf sitter put a little water in my brush i'm gonna dab it oh you guys can't see a thing a little water in my brush dab it into the white there you go and we're gonna start the top of Miss Candy Corn. And if you're using acrylics um, that are thin, you might need to do a couple of coats, and that's okay. Um, I am gonna go across the painting, or across the candy corn, because that's the, I like to paint with texture, so I'm going to see those lines when it gets done. Um, so I like to paint in the direction that I'm going. So that's a good tip for you guys if you're texture painters. Or if you just want a painting that's a little more forgiving. Then uh, there you go. And like I said, I got the chalk paint out for my yellow because my yellow... But I have an acrylic, this huge thing. I'm gonna have to look up how to do something with this. Um, it's so thin, it just, it annoys me to no end. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this up. Quick and easy. And I didn't clean my brush. I want to do a little bit of blending from my colors. Um, that's a personal preference. But I like to have the white and the yellow come together. So easy peasy. I'm just going to blend right up into my white. And if I decide I have too much yellow, I can always go back and add more white. But easy enough. But I thought the, the purple and white background would be nice. I'm going to edge this in some black if you guys don't catch me till the end. If you guys catch me on replay, please, please, please type replay. And, of course, feel free to share comments, loves, hugs. Appreciated. If you enjoy just an easy, relaxing end of the day paint usually it's a morning paint with me but if you enjoy an easy end of the day paint here you are today right you got this and we're not going to use a ton of crazy colors um 
if you don't have purple, you can use um, red and blue and mix them together. I always recommend that you have um, red, blue, yellow, white, and black. If you have those colors, you can rule the world. <laughs> and if you saw the post I had on my page this morning about my hands being glued together, then, well, yeah, that was not ruling the world. <laughs> but, yeah, honestly, whatever paint you love, if you get five colors, you can make any color under the sun. So don't worry about having to buy all the things. Because you don't. You can start out with some pretty basics. Basic basics for 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and you can do a lot of things. All right, so we've got the white down. I'll have to come back with some more white. That's a little bit light. I'm going to now take some red and some yellow and I'll make orange, right? For the bottom of my candy corn. Tap some of that off on there. Oh my God. You guys, what is the weather where you are? It is so hot here, it's crazy. I think it's supposed to be cooler tomorrow, but oh my Lord, this girl does not do heat. That's why I don't live in the south. We actually <laughs> we actually went on a vacation this summer to Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky. We, do, we were like thinking that would be kind of fun to have a vacation place to go to. I do not do heat. No. Okay. I'm going to bring you over here. And I just stuck my thumb in the purple. Yay. So I'm making an orange with just red and yellow. It's a little bit dark, so I'm going to add some white. Pop it up a little. And that's the nice thing with mixing colors. You can do a little more white. You can do whatever shades you like. If that's not bright enough for you, I'm going to add a little more red. And just play with the mixing until you get to where you think you want to be. I don't know. I don't really don't want to stick that in my yellow, but I'm going to. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> so you can pick any color you want to have, right? Red and yellow make orange. If you want a red orange or a yellow orange, it's completely up to you. Bright, dark. You can play with you can put a little black in it if you want it darker. And there's lots of options. I'm still adding more red to this. It seems a little peachy to me. And that's all, you know, personal, personal preference. All right, we're just going to move forward. I actually kind of like this. I just don't know if I should add more yellow to it or not, but we're going to go with it. I don't know. It looks good next to the yellow. All right. So simple enough. <clears throat> Honestly, you guys, if it's not supposed to be white, yellow, orange, somebody tell me. I'll have to get a, I'll have to go buy a bag of candy corn. Here's a question of the night. Do you guys eat candy corn? Do you like candy corn? I actually kind of like it. I don't have it that often, but if we're somewhere and they have candy corn, <laughs> I'll definitely grab a few pieces, right? So, doing it heavy and textured, just plan, right? seeing it come together I'm pretty sure like there is a 
width on these things that is probably scientific. I don't know what that width is, but I'm pretty sure there is one. All right. I'm going to wash my brush off, go back in with a little bit more white on that top. Maybe. There we go. We'll come back in and do a little lining with some black. We're going to turn her into a pretty little girl. You could also make this um, a boy. Suggestions for a boy name. Um are welcomed. Candy corn is easy. <laughs> Candy is an easy name, but you could definitely totally do a boy. If you've got, um, oh, it would be so cute to make a, a set, right? A boy and a girl in a painting. Same thing with this yellow. I'm going to come back in and do a once over again, just to darken this up. And this is all wet painting, so if you don't have a lot of time, you only have a half an hour to yourself or something like that, and you just want to get a little bit of art therapy thrown down, you want to do a little DIY, this is a great, great piece to do. Fast and easy. There we go. See how wet that is? Don't worry, that'll be fine. <laughs> so now I need to put a little bit of yellow on my plate. That's well, maybe a little more. All right, so I've got the white, orange, and yellow on here. I'm going to still use the same brush, rinsing it out, wiping it off on my paper towel. Yep, that'll work. And I think Miss Candy needs a flower in her hair. And I think we'll use a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the orange. Just dabbing into both colors. Do you see that? Okay, good. You can see it. So who doesn't need a flower in their hair, right? So I'm just doing little C's. <clears throat> Nothing fancy. Right? There you go, and I'm going to need a little green, so I'm going to take a smidge of blue, ooh, a whole lot of blue, glad you guys didn't see that, uh, smidge of blue and a smidge of yellow, I'm going to make a green, you can see how way too much blue I got on there, maybe on this crazy plate I have, take just a little bit of it, add it to my yellow. Yellow and blue, light green. Maybe a little more blue. Oh, might have been too much. Let's see. No, we're good. I like a blue green. We're good. Can you see? Oh, you can see. Okay. We're good on that. Just a little bit of a leaf. Perfect. Okay, Miss Candy, we need a little bit of a little tiny little brush. Like I said, you guys, I'm trying to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to do her all wet tonight. Um, so if you guys don't have a lot of time and you just want to pop something out quick, 
Um, this is the way to go. Hi, Joanne. So I'll add a little water to our, oh, I keep forgetting this is off your screen. Adding a little water to the black. Roll it off. We're going to do a few lines. Not waiting for anything to dry tonight. I'm just going with the paint therapy plan. Do a little lining. And we're just going with a nice, shabby little Miss Candy, right? You did a little boy candy. He would be really cute with a bow tie or a top hat, right? Okay, before I get too much into the line, well, let's not get too much into the lines in there. Must take that same black that's wet. <clears throat> God bless him for mowing the lawn. Oh, I love him. I do love him. <laughs> <coughs> Between the heat and the mowing, I'll tell you, this should not. This is not October weather. I'm so, you guys. I love fall. I'm so looking forward to fall and winter craziness. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's put. Let's give Candy some some love here. Right. Let's just play a little. I'm just dipping into that black, and there's a lot of there's a lot of water in it, um, so it doesn't drag too bad. And I'm just wiping off my brush before I get into anywhere else, right? So it makes the brush pointy. If I want to do bottom ones, just do really light, really light hand. And this is your, your creation, so don't get, don't get too, um, worried about it. Now I'm going to dab into the blue that I used to make the orange, because waste not, want not, okay? Right? Could actually use a little water in that, but we're just gonna go with it. I said if you're just painting for a little art therapy, this is just a wet painting for fun. If you want to do um, something more professional for your house, then definitely let things dry in between. But you can so just follow this and. Just give her a little, do you want a triangle nose, you think? Or just a little, a little corner nose? I guess we're going with a corner nose. <laughs> Easy peasy. I'm going to add a little more water to this black. I'm telling you, it's like 100 degrees in here, you guys. Oh, my Lord. Add a little more water to the black. <laughs> this is drying. Miss Candy. And have a smile. Isn't she cute? She's doing good. I kind of feel like um a little more on her flower. I kind of feel like she needs something else, but I'm not sure what. Maybe she needs <laughs> maybe she needs feet, but I don't know. <laughs> Any suggestions? So bad, so bad. Quick and easy art therapy, and I feel like she needs shoes. Which, how weird is that? Because I feel like. I want to give her witch's shoes, and she's not a witch, so I don't know. 
Hmm, maybe we'll just do something fun. Do a couple little circles. Ah, keep her sweet, right? Keep her sweet. I'm not going to give her witchy shoes. So just a couple of little half circles. Something fun. Little tootsies. Yes, I'm giving her shoes. I don't know. She just felt like she was kind of needing something. Maybe I'll make her shoes match her eyes. A little blue and white in them. Right? Oop, that's a lot of white. Like I said, this is just a wet painting for paint therapy. And the black is so wet, her shoes are turning gray. Bummer. Bummer on that. I like to pull colors together. Y'all like gray shoes? <laughs> no. no. It is what it is. Come back into this blue and see if we can get at least a little blue in her shoes. There we go. Here so you guys can see what's going down. Just fun. And I think you guys know how I don't love orange, so it's kind of a weird thing to give her an orange flower in her head. And while we're there, I'm gonna go right back. And this is the creative brain where you just do do what you think right you got it's yours play with it so i'm going to go back just a little blue and white and i'll probably have to go back with a little bit of orange because i started it with the orange bad plan but generally your eye likes odd um, numbers or odd. Well, they like things a three, but I never followed that rule either, so you don't have to. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little more flowers. She's kind of cute. And I'm going to turn that into a hat. Right? Like she's like uh, going someplace fancy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think Candy's a witch. <clears throat> she might be. I think she is. Oh, candy. How sweet is that? She's a fancy girl. <laughs> oh, he just. Oh, Christy, I didn't even look. And you said the same thing. Great minds think alike. Oh, my Lord. Too funny. I love it. All right. So, like I said, we're just doing a, a wet painting tonight. Just a quick and easy... Have some fun with it. I'm going right back in over it while it's still wet. Playing with those flowers a little bit. Bringing them out. Right into the black that's wet. Just 
just drying my brush off on my paper towel. Back into the white. Oh, she's so sweet. I think, before I get done, and this is the where do you stop or where you just keep playing, and if you're just having fun, you know, go for it. Go back and add a little bit more to a few of those. And as you guys can, oh, I need more white. As you can see, I'm muting out the orange just a little bit, only because I'm not a huge orange fan. If you love orange, then let your orange take over, right? I'm just toning it down a little because it's not my love. So yeah. My flowers are just little curve shapes. Excuse the one over. <laughs> and she probably needs to stand on a little bit of something, something. So my brush is dirty. I didn't clean it. But I'm just gonna make a little movement under her. Just fun, 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 fun. I'm actually going to take this orange. You guys know me, I can't do just one color. I might take this orange with a little bit of the white and lighten it up a smidge. You on there? Okay, you're on the. Lighten it up a smidge. I wish I hadn't drawn her mouth on there before I did it, but I'm just going to drag through a little bit. Got into the black a little bit. It's okay. Happy with that. And I'm going to find my yellow. Not cleaning my brush again. Just gonna just wipe a little bit of yellow off. I'm gonna mix that up with my dirty brush. So it's got some of the orange in there and apparently a little bit of black. Just to give me a little bit of something. It's a little more orange than I would like. Why do we keep getting into the orange? Do you guys love orange? Is it just me? Add some white to it. Lighten it up. But that's why I love mixing colors. You can make any shade you want. Just to soften this a little bit. A little more blending, a little more shading. There you go. Easy peasy. If your colors aren't blending, water. And it will take forever for it to dry, so you know. But, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to take a paper towel again. I said don't, don't use a paper towel on something you're going to put on your wall if you've never tried it. <laughs> Practice in your journal first. Make sure it's going to work out for you before you do it on something permanently. Sweet Sunset today also on my background. Oh, I have not tried Sweet Sunset. Um, my mom has crazy eyes, which would be a, probably a perfect orange for fall, but I don't have crazy eyes or Sweet Sunset. 
For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Junk Monkey paint. Um, it's the chalk paint that Christy and I both use. Um, I really love it. It's a great paint um, just for painting campuses. I mean, it's sold as a furniture paint. Um, it's excellent for stenciling. So, um, if you haven't tried chalk paint at all, and you're just kind of playing around with things, and you have a yellow like I do, an acrylic yellow that's ridiculous, that you need like 47 layers to make it do anything, try try the chalk paint. You, you might be really, really surprised. I'm going to take my... <clears throat> Excuse me. My black brush, I have black paint so I was just doing some edging. I'm going to add a lot of white to it. A lot, a lot of white to it. And make a really, really light gray. You guys see this? I'm adding a ton of white. Make a really, really, really light gray. I want an almost white, but not white. Just gonna smidge. I'm gonna dash. Right? Just gonna dash. So my little candy witch, little art therapy for the evening. Fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna add your hat. I'm trying to, oh, the lawnmower. God bless him. We have the most beautiful lawn, you guys. My husband is like the best mower. He's great. <laughs> He'll probably watch this. He'll be like, what are you doing? No, we do, we have a gorgeous lawn. He is like, a serious mower, mowing man. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just trying to make this a little bit more whimsical. And a lot of times um, we edge in black because that's kind of the standard. But you don't have to do your own thing, right? So. A little bit of this gray at the bottom. What do you guys think? What do you think of candy? Right? She's a sweet little thing. I'm going to tap into that black again. I'm going to wipe my brush off at least. More cheek. I think I am gonna go give her that triangle nose. I want to keep her pretty whimsical, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Might be the crowning touch. You think? <laughs> Bitty brush ahead. We'll go into a little bit of black in the flowers. Real quick. Just to give them a little definition, right? Best little C's. Quick and easy. Nothing, nothing serious. Right? Touch her up a little. Ooh, she's looking pretty Halloweeny. And the final edging. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's little quick and easy, just chilling on wine painting. This is so wet, it's stuck to um, 
like I said, it's been a crazy day. I did this one entirely wet. Um, if you wanted to do it for a actual display in your house kind of thing, then um, let things dry. Take your time. But if you have just a minute and you want to relax and unwind, challenge yourself. Throw it down as fast as you can throw it down. See what happens, right? She came out pretty nice. I'm going to actually with my brush tab in here under her a little bit. I really just feel like I should have done, you guys, you know me. I'm not a big fan of solid colors, so I really should have done a little bit more variation in her when I was laying down her body, but that's just me. If you like solid colors, she's good to go. So leave me a comment below if you hit if you if you show up on replay. Any questions? And uh, oh, I know I had a question for you tonight. If you've watched to this end, here's the question: If you like sweet, fun, whimsical Halloween, hit the heart button. If you like, oh no, oh it's fine. I'm the one doing this. Oh no. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Don't leave me hanging. No, it's not on there. It's on, it's on the page before. If you like scary, dark, if you like scary, dark um, Halloween, hit the wow button. I want to see uh, in the little things where you hit the things. Heart for sweet fun whimsical and um, wow the wow guy for those dark and scary ones I I want to I want to get a tally so feel free to share this with your friends and ask them the same question I want oh I'm seeing lots of hearts you guys are with me I know the scary things are a little bit a little bit much for me I try to push my boundaries but Awesome. Yeah, share this and ask the question. Tell them to watch to the end or do it at any time. I don't care when they do it. Give me a heart for the sweet, fun, whimsical Halloween and a, and a wow for the scary, dark, freaky Halloweens. All right. You guys, I would come back on this screen, but I can't even tell you how hot I am right now. It's ridiculous hot in here. I wish we had air conditioning. <laughs> It's going to get cool, though, pretty soon, and we'll get the wood stove going, and I'll be happy again. So have a great evening, and I will see you again soon. Thank you for joining me, and be sure to comment replay if you show up for a replay so, that I, know, so I know you are here. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you for all the hearts, Christy. I'm with you. The whole scary thing just, oh, but I'll tell you that story another day. All right. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.